Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. This video is basically my weight loss update video, but I will go in details with you about how exactly I lost this weight. If you are curious about how to lose weight quite fast, how to make a relationship with the weight loss, if you want to have it for a longer term. And yes, so let's, let's get started. I'm being boring because you pretty much already know how much I lost because the title of the video says it. But just to confirm, I lost four kilograms of body weight in 10 days. Four kilograms in pounds would be 8.13 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's what I have lost. Now I did stall for one day and two days. I did gain 100 grams each day, but today I have lost exactly four kilograms and I will tell you how exactly I did it. So first thing first, I am following keto diet and intermittent fasting. Um, if you don't know why I'm following keto diet, it's because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I used to have a gestational diabetes. I'm at high risk of developing diabetes. Therefore, I sort of need to have a diet that is similar to diabetes diet, if that makes sense. Um, basically, that's a low carb diet. Also, I am doing intermittent fasting. Why I'm doing intermittent fasting? Because if I eat later than six o'clock, then the next morning I am having bloating, I'm having odd feeling in my belly, etc. Also, I tend to gain weight at least 100 grams, sometimes 200 grams. So it just doesn't work for me if I do eat past six. Therefore, first thing, keto diet and intermittent fasting. You need to determine what exactly you want to follow, what your mind is ready to go for and just go for it. Second thing, what I have been doing these days, I've been trying to have eight hours sleep. Yes, I do have a young child, therefore my sleep is interrupted. However, I still made it to a little bit more than eight hours and it really really is important because your body needs to have a good night's sleep to be able to recover from previous day to be able to burn your calories that you're meant to burn during the sleep so sleep is important talking about the activities no I have not been active at all I the, like literally the only activities I have been doing is time to time going and picking up my child from school or the other day I did have to do COVID vaccine and um, why I haven't been active because after I had the COVID vaccine I have literally for about a week I have been feeling like under the weather I have been having cold symptoms etc therefore no I haven't been doing activities so just think about it that I have lost four kilograms or eight pounds something um, without being active. Activity is definitely on my agenda and I definitely want to be active, but I haven't done it yet. I have lost four kilograms of weight. What else I have been doing to help my weight loss? I was counting calories the first days. Uh, why? Because our mind always think that I'm not just eating, I'm not eating that much, but we do eat way more than we need to. Therefore, I know that I had to put myself in that in that situation or in that understanding. I just needed to approximately, again, remind myself, because I've been doing this for mm, long, I needed to remind myself or tell myself how much I can have, what I can have. Also, once you have this portion control and you have the eye for the calorie counting, you just sort of get into it and you know what you're doing. So, again, I'm talking too much about this topic. Let's carry on with the thing that I've done to lose weight. So, I did make sure that I do eat three times a day. 
I did not let myself go hungry. Whenever I felt eating, I was eating. So I did have approximately three meals a day. Not always though, because in this window, while I'm not doing intermittent fasting, I can only squeeze as much as I can in in regards to eating. So if, if I had late breakfast, I would have late lunch and I wouldn't eat too much for dinner and at 6 o'clock sharp I have to stop. Now I will show you what meals I have been eating to lose weight. If you want to see my little secret, if you want to see what exactly I've been doing to lose these 4 kilograms, keep watching and see what's the food. And here is Gia seed pudding with almond milk. Beef mint stuffed chicken with creamy spinach sauce. Fried eggs, herring with cucumber and tomato on side. Halloumi cheese with smoked salmon and salad. Seriously low carb instant porridge with some nuts and raspberries. Here you find seriously low carb bread with cheese, crab sticks and tomatoes. Just mixed salad, very much veggies all in. Here is the PhD Smart Cake with coffee and collagen. Here again, seriously low carb bread with cheese and salami and salad on the side. Some roast chicken with salad, cheesecake, keto style. Um, chaffle with smoked salmon, cucumber and cream cheese. Seriously, low carb bread with scrambled eggs. Konjac noodles with beef shawarma. Cheese and egg salad with some tomatoes. So, you saw the food that I've been eating. And if I did crave sweets, I did not say no to myself. I was eating sugar-free candies or the cheesecake that I botch made. Um, if I craved sweet, if I wanted something to satisfy myself, I would just go for either cheesecake, either those sweets, so sugar-free candies or sugar-free jellies, or alternatively, I also used to eat um, protein bars with low carbs. These are one of the sweets that I was having. Even my kids like to have them, but I have to warn you a bit these sugar-free candies they work also as laxative because there's just polyols inside and polyols for some reason tend to make you run if you take them too much last but not least of the things that helped me lose weight over these 10 days was the fact that i didn't give up there was a moment after my covid vaccine that i uh, stalled at the beginning, I, so first I stalled and I did not lose anything that day. The day after I gained 100 grams and the day after I gained another 100 grams. It does play with your brain. Oh God, it does play with your brain, but make sure you do not give up because if you do not give up, you'll just carry on. That's another reason probably why they don't want you to um, weigh yourself every day because that's just how weight loss happens it's slow process you don't want to just lose weight instantly and then gain everything back so it does need to go down slowly and it does need to stop because your body sometimes gets tired your you might be eat something or drink drink something that stops it for you don't get paranoid don't stress about it just carry on. When you feel like you're defeated or it's just not working for you, carry on, don't give up because your body will start moving again. I'm not talking about the very long stalls where you keep trying and trying and trying and nothing works. Um, then there is obviously different ways of dealing with it. But in such short period of time, like 10 days, don't give up, like don't give up. And we start with these 10 days and then we just carry on. You need to build a relationship with your weight loss. Again, it depends. If you just want a quick weight loss and you just decide to go for it um, for a short period of time because you need to get into your dress or something, 
yes, do it, go for it. And stick with it for 10 days and you see you have done what you needed to do and you will lose some weight. If you are building this as a relationship, as a long-term relationship, don't give up. The thing is not lost unless you stop for real. These are the things that helped me lose four kilograms in 10 days. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now because I will be sharing more things about weight loss, about how to be healthy, about how to reach your goals. And I will see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.